Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, gonna be a quick one from me. We've got a times 10 chance to pull a couple of uh, pretty darn crazy legendaries, or at least one, I'd say, that's coming over this next Clan v Clan tournament. They like to drop in the times 10s now. Um, it does feel like there's a little bit of a relentless times 10, times 10, times 10. And honestly, these are full bait, unless you are serious about personal rewards or unless you are serious about blowing cash outside of reasonable times, or unless you are serious about never completing a fragment event or a fusion event. But let's go over it then. So what we've got, two champions dropping in, um, basically one today, Tuesday, and one tomorrow. First one today is going to be, let me just check the time on this as well, I think it's right. Yeah, I think they basically go on for one day at a time. So first one today is going to be a pretty damn special champion. Albeit, I feel like he's been on times 10s a bit. Like, unless I'm going mad, I feel like he's been showing up a little bit now. So what we got? Calvalax. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to run through his kit while showing you what he actually does. So we got here, an A1 attacks an enemy. 40% chance of increasing the duration of all poisons on a target. It's pretty nice. Heals this champion by 2.5% of their max HP for each poison around. So you stack up like, you know, four poisons, you've got 10% max HP heal coming back. It's actually a really solid A1. His A2 attacks an enemy, places an extra hit for each poison on a target, up to three hits. This can smack. Um, you know, you can use this as a clan boss whack. And as long as there's a bunch of poisons out there, he's doing damage with this ability. So this is really nice. Uh, so he gets up to three extra hits here. And then his A3 is an absolute crucify smack against waves so um you know this is nuts as well attacks all enemies damage increases according to the number of poisons this is one of those champions i did a you know should you build dupes video the other day this is one of those champions that only gets better when you've got two yeah you start seeing a lot of the speed runs um for like for the end game when two of this dude are around i've got one which does make me a little bit tempted to pull for a second one and this is going to be based on Ancients and Sacred Shards. So any shard you've got could throw you in the mix. But again, these 10 times, we've fed it back now so many times. A 10 times doesn't feel enough to get a legendary you're after. It's still so damn slim that you don't get the one that you want. But this is an enemy max HP skill. So it does do a lot of work on uh, like end game waves. Uh, also get a lot of extra damage through books here. And then it's passive. One of the best passives in the game for me. So it puts four poisons out at the start of each round. It's like that. Poison spread. Uh, four poisons go out. So if you've got a poison exploder champion, they blow them up. Um, you know, he does more damage when there's poisons around. There's just, you know, more debuffs. It, it kicks in bad L passive. Like there's so much stuff that he does because of this passive. It's so good. Uh, and also just four poisons. I mean, that's straight 20% of anyone's HP that you're fighting anyway. It's like a straight kick in the nuts. Um, 50% chance of placing a poison on all enemies at the start of each turn that he has as well. So you can put more poisons out there. Whenever an enemy places a poison on him, removes it, turns it into a heal. Pretty damn cool. He can be played really just about anywhere in the game. But his, his main strength is in dungeon running. Ice Golem, Dragon especially is like his two uh, top tier places to play. Got speed in all battles as well. Really good speed and, and base stats his base hp is actually very low uh, so it's something to be aware of he's killable but uh he likes to kill people before that can happen so that's today's and then tomorrow's is going to be a void shard um champion and this dude i got him recently he is uh he's not there he's there yeah so this dude i got recently he is potentially the most annoying champion that you could play against or you know, just basically like lock down people with. Um, but I don't see him like in a lot of end game teams, but he is damn good. Like if you pulled this dude, Shadur, today, and he's and you're, I don't know, like been playing the game for 100 days or something, he is in every team that you've got. I'm pretty sure of that. He will go in every single team that you have. So what's going on with this guy? We've got an A1, puts people to sleep. 50-50 or 75% chance if you book it out of just putting someone to sleep. And you know, that seems a bit weak. 
It is until we see the rest of his kit and how this kind of synergizes with what he does. We've got an A2 here, attacks all enemies two times. So a double hit is always nice. It means that he can clear out someone like a Rotus. Uh, and yeah, it just means he's going to do a, a bunch more damage. The first hit can put out poison. The second hit puts out decreased defense. So he needs accuracy to do these things, but it's very, it's like a really nice A2. Um, and both of those things book to 100%. So on a three turn cooldown, a drop defense and poison and a decent amount of damage, we like it. And then it's A3, attacks an enemy, then another one at random. This will kill people, by the way. This A3 hits hard enough. Uh, gets an extra 20% damage here. If the target's under poison, ignores all of the nasties. Yeah. Gets an extra turn if he kills someone and resets Venom, uh, Venom Storm, which is his A2 here, um, if he kills two enemies. It's pretty solid. Like, it's such a solid ability um, for, like, general wave running. That's what he is. He's like a wave machine. And then you're like that. How do you turn on that wave machine? You turn it on with his passive. Instantly attacks enemies with his default A1 whenever they receive damage from poison that he places. So that's either poison from here or it could be poison from his own toxic set. But it's not somebody else's poison. It wouldn't be like a Kalvalax's poison would make this work. But it's still nutty. So when hitting enemies under poison, heals him. Doesn't matter, you're not taking any damage anyway. But what he will do is... Enemy's about to take a poison hit. He runs in with his A1, puts them to sleep. They take the poison damage. They wait back up and they've missed their turn. And basically, he can lock down a whole enemy team. It can be like solo, whatever you like. It's nuts. So this dude is big um, for that. But damn, I mean, who's going to pull shards? Honestly, this is what I come back to. Who's going to pull shards unless you are desperate to win the personal reward stuff, or unless you are so desperate for that champion. Like, I say who's going to pull shards, and then I'm thinking, I really do want that second Kalvalax to, you know, guarantee insane times for things like Ice Golem and stuff like that. But it's, it's very much a luxury rather than a necessity in the game. So there you go, guys. We've got the 10 times coming in. Comment below. Do you ever pull on a 10 times during Clan v Clan? Let me know down below. Anyway, guys, I've been Hell Hades. I will see you later.